Good morning, it's Bill, KK4PAL. Out here in my backyard, I'm working on a new project. Now I want to give you all a little update and show you what's going on. It's a little hard to see because of the glare on the water, but you can see why I live where I live. I've got a dock out here that floats on the lake. And down here you will see a copper rod with a wire attached and clip on it. And it goes across under my walkway out the other side and down here we have a TN07 my go-to antenna it's set up here on the edge of the lake behind it you see my weather station and it goes on up the reason this is here this way is because we used to have a community manager and we'll just call her Karen if you get my drift and we have HOA and they don't like things. Karen was a real busy body and I would have had a lot of issues. At least with this I can drop the whip down if I'm not using it. I don't have to come out and adjust it, change the bands or anything. I started out with Wolf River Coil and I used it for POTA. I got it to use in the yard and for POTA. So I decided, well, I really want a DX Commander. I want one really bad. Multi band, don't have to come out and adjust anything, change anything. Well, about three weeks ago, I went to a ham fest and set up and sold some stuff, but I found a DX Commander. And y'all get the nickel dime quarter tour of the backyard. And I said, well, since we've got a new community manager and she's not as aggravating, I might could get away with putting it up. So I decided, well, I got a place to put it. I just don't have room for guys. If you see, the area out here is very, very small. I mean, we're, we're talking about a very limited area in my backyard. I mean, I have nothing here because of this. I have a huge oak tree. And another tree right here. So, in all my wisdom, I came up with an idea. I can't guy it because I can't get three equal space guy wires. So I came out, I built me an 18 by 18 frame. I took and ran me four pieces of half inch conduit 90s out. I ran an inch and a half uh, 90 out to run my coax through. Then I've got an inch and a quarter outside diameter pole here. And then I've got a two inch here. What I'm gonna do is I'm fixing to go to to the local store and get some concrete. I'm gonna mix it up and pour it in here, and smooth it out. The inch and a quarter pipe, when I get through, will be cut off about 10 inches above the concrete pad. I'll set the DX Commander on it. I took a T and split it, and I'll show you this later. And it's gonna come over 90 down onto this other pipe. That is gonna act as my guys to hold my DX Commander up. So I'm gonna go get this concrete, get it in the ground, let it set up. It only feels like 106 out here at roughly nine o'clock in the morning. It's a little bit warm, so I wanna get this in. Should dry today without a problem, and I should be finishing up in the next couple of days. I've got the DX Commander ready to go. I've cut my elements. I've got my uh, radials made. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with those to keep them off the top of the ground. Yes, this is Florida. That's an orange tree. It's just starting to grow up. But I don't have a lot of room. So basically, I'm going to have to come out to the left, to the right a little bit, and then 90 with the radials, and come out back towards my home with the other two bundles of radials. But I'm going to bury the radials out here, and I'll show you how I'm planning on doing that just a little later on in the video. Okay, after my run to the big box home store to get some concrete mix, I got the fast setting concrete mix. I poured it down in the pipes and got the pipes in. In case you're wondering, the pipes are about 18 inches under this slab. It's about 20 inches total uh, that's in the ground. The reason it doesn't go any further is when we built the seawall back 
after Hurricane Irma, we had a lot of concrete and blocks that were busted up and we poured them down in the bottom at the foot of this for drainage and to help support the wall. And so can't go any further. They were hammered in, it's through sand, so it's not very hard to get them down. A little water jet and a little hammer and I got them down about 18 inches a piece. I also put some screws in them that stick out so they don't twist or anything. I put a post level on them, both posts are perfectly level. And so next step is wait for the concrete to harden. The inch and a quarter will be cut off about eight inches, eight to 10 inches above the, the slab. And then I've got to get the piece I made to go over from the DX commander to this two inch pipe, put it on and start whacking off two inch pipe at various places to get it where it'll hold. And then I'm gonna spray paint it all black, the two inch pipe anyway, and uh, so it doesn't stand out. And we should be where we're about ready to stand up the DX Commander and test the elements. Okay, someone gave me this idea. I saw it somewhere on the internet. I've gotta get my radials in the ground. I don't want my long guy tearing them up. I wanna keep them good. So here's my solution. I poured the concrete, I put some half inch PVC 90s in. And I taped them up, and I taped them up too good. A little hard to get the tape off, but it will come off. Now I take my bundle of four radials and I push them up through this conduit and it goes over here to the base of my antenna. I've got heat shrink on all the tubing and everything to get it back to the right, back to this point. I separate one of the radials out from the rest. Found a little piece of tubing. Stuck it on top of my sawzall. And for a change, it's not a million degrees down here in Florida this evening. It's actually nice and cool. It's in the low 80s compared to feels like temperature over 100 degrees every day. But then I take the drawers off, bring them up on in. We the wire through this pipe. And there's a radial end, that simple and that easy. No digging, no fighting, and the long guy won't hit it. So let's do it again. Grab another radial. I got 16 of these to do, by the way. But I thought I'd show you a couple of them. Push it up through this pipe, comes out, pull it out out of the way, come at a little different angle each time I do this. And voila, there's the second radial end off of that bundle. I've got 16 of them all together to do. I've already done one bundle, but decided I wanted to film this. Go. Okay, folks, what I'm doing is I've got half inch PVC conduit run up through here. And I'm running my radials up through it and over to my radial plate. Then I lay my radials off to the side. I reach down here and get one out, just like this. And don't worry about the water hose, that's where my coax is gonna go and I don't wanna put a radial down where I'm gonna dig for my coax later on. And I plan on putting my coax in the same way. But someone did this trick on the internet and I saw it. I thought, well, that's a great idea. Guess what, it works. Get a little bit of dirt in the end of the tube down there when you're doing it, but it'll push right on through it. 
Now I'm gonna pull my wire up, go off to my right side, cause I'm left-handed. I'm gonna start right here. And I'm gonna turn it straight up and down. Feeding the wire in as it goes. Well, I hit a root there. Let me back up and start over again just to show you the possibilities of what you're going to do. Evidently, there's a root or something down there in the ground. So I pulled my wire up a little bit too soon. But we're just going to back it up a little bit. Yeah, I got a lot of roots right in this area. Didn't have as much issue with the other ones. But it's pretty much in. I just gotta push it back down where I screwed up. Go ahead and stop it. Alright, here we go. Easy way to put in the writing. go radials in okay folks here it is the great reveal DX commander with no guy wires what I've done is down here on the bottom I got a piece of inch and a quarter pipe run up about a foot inside the DX commander pole as you see I got all my coax and radials running out the conduit and everything then I have a two inch pipe coming up and it's got a 90 on it. We have nylon bolts here and here. Comes out. There's a string here. This hooks to either side of the T. I've split the T. You can see the little crack in it there. I've split it all the way around. I also padded it to keep from scratching up the pole. And there's a nylon bolt and wing nut here so I can take it loose. When I do, these will fall down on these strings and not fall in the lake because I've already had to fish one out. But there's the DX Commander in all its glory. Up, all my SWRs are great. I have no SWR issues. The little bit that I've got off, the internal tuner on my 7300 will handle it just fine. Let me go around the other side so you can get a better picture of it. And you can see what it actually looks like. I will say this, that's a tall antenna. But this is replacing a my go to antenna. As you see, uh, that's an 18 by 18 square concrete that I poured to hold it. Everything's buried, run underground, so I don't have to worry about my long guy tearing it up. And if I need to take it down for any reason, we have a hurricane or something like that come through. It's one uh, wing nut, slide a nylon bolt out, unhook my radials, my coax, pick it up and lay it down. And I do have enough room to lay it down. But it's well hidden from the road out front, or pretty well hidden from the road out front. So I don't think it'll be any kind of problems. All right, folks, there's your way to guy up a DX Commander without using guy wires.